Okay, y'all. We have some cold weather coming. Some very cold weather coming. I gotta get some things ready. Where we are here in Alabama, while the weather can be uncertain uh, and a little crazy, and it may be warm one day and cold the next, and then warm and cold and back and forth, very, very cold weather isn't something that we get a whole lot of. It does come around from time to time, and we've got some coming, and so there's some extra precautions and things that we have to do to get ready. Especially out here with the animals, and then maybe even like our strawberries, because we usually have mild winters, we just let our strawberries do their thing through the winter. But with the temperatures and the ice and things that they're saying could be coming, kind of going back and forth on whether or not we want to go ahead and cover those up or what we're going to do there. But probably the focus of today's video, what you're going to see us doing, is getting things ready for these chickens. We're actually going to be moving some chickens around, getting coops with fresh shavings and making sure there's places for them to get out of the wind, setting up waters and things so that we can bust ice out of them a little bit easier hopefully keep them from freezing too much and just make sure that these animals are comfortable out here with the cold weather that's coming. Chickens are pretty hardy animals and for the most part they handle the cold well but I mean they haven't had to experience a ton of really cold weather and so it's going to be something new to them. And we want to keep everybody as happy and as safe as we can. I know for some people this weather would be no big deal. <laughs> You're used to it. Uh, you already have the things in place to take care of it, but around here, <laughs> we don't because it's not, not our normal. Come on, while we gotta get some shavings ready for the chicken. Come help mama. The first thing we're gonna do is the coop that's empty. We're actually gonna move these chickens over into it. So while it's empty, I'm gonna go ahead and get some extra shavings and food and water and things ready in it. Can I have this while you're helping? Yeah. All right, let's take it over here to the coop. We're gonna go to the big coop. Big coop? Big coop. Good job. Chickens. Yep, or the chickens. Now this coop is empty because of an unfortunate event. I think the last video that went up was actually about that. Yes, the chickens can handle the cold pretty well, but I wanna make sure they have somewhere that is dry and out of the wind that they can go. So we're putting some extra pine shavings in the bottom of their coop. And even if we need to close up this door, it still has really good ventilation across the top. So moisture can escape as the chickens get in there and they're breathing and it's creating condensation. It needs somewhere to go. One of our biggest fights is probably going to be frostbite, making sure everybody stays dry so that their wattles, their combs, and their feet don't get frostbite. We know how to care for it if it does happen, but hopefully we can prevent it. All right, let me see if it'll shake out now. We got several different coop areas, so getting got, them all ready. Dad, Dad, Dad. Oh, there comes Daddy. He's coming to help. All right, come on. Dad, Dad. Here in just a few minutes, Justin and I are going to talk to you about how this Arctic blast is expected to impact us here in our area. Wherever you are, whatever it's looking like for you, whether you've gotten beautiful snow or ice, dangerous ice like what we will probably have, stay safe and stay warm so we're going to talk to you more about that here in just a minute but right now we're getting our i am samani chickens all set up we're moving them onto some fresh grass and getting some shavings inside of their coop for them some extra fresh shavings inside of the coop for them and we also had to take their tarp off the top of their run during the windstorm we had last week so we're going to get that put back on You can go see her. <laughs> Do 
Chickens, chickens everywhere. Living this lifestyle is definitely not always glamorous. We've had some real talks about that here on our channel lately. But it's still so worth it. And it just means that it may not always be sunshine and blue skies. Sometimes you may have to be preparing for really cold weather and ice. You may be having to make repairs to your chicken runs. That's part of it. And so even on those less than glamorous days, doesn't change the fact that it is a beautiful way to live. Good days and tough days. Dude, which one of you did that? I'll tell you what, the chickens have made some beautiful compost out here around their coops and I am thankful for that. Probably get that food bucket out of there and let them follow it up here. So they're going to a new place. Sun is setting quickly. The color out here is starting to change. Start to look a little golden, aren't we? Everybody's moved around. Chickens are in their new spots, at least for now, until this new coop gets done and we'll all be together. Some of them are looking like... It'll never get done. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Some of them are kind of a little uncertain, trying to figure out their new spots. But I think they'll be all right. I think in the long run, they'll be happy. I may come back out here when it gets a little bit darker and make sure they all go inside their house and stay warm. What's the, what's the weather supposed to do, Justin? I'm so confused now. I don't I know. know. I think tomorrow afternoon or 
I think tomorrow night and Tuesday night into Wednesday morning it's supposed to be bad cold. Tonight it's only supposed to be like 30 something. Tomorrow we may get some winter precipitation. Which in Alabama that probably means ice. Yeah. So you people, you, if anybody from the north is like, you people don't know how to handle snow. We don't get snow, we get ice. And there ain't no handling ice. It's a whole ice. different ball game. And we don't do it very often. No. Even with snow, like, we don't live in a place where there's the equipment to take care of roads and those kinds of things. I don't think, so tonight we won't need to close up doors on chicken coops or anything, but we'll probably make sure that they're trapped in <laughs> where they will stay warm. Talking like single digits. Oh yeah, Tuesday night's supposed to be bad. Single digit negative wind chill stuff rough for the chickens hey mom did you find a tarp or something you want to put on those strawberries there's a blue tarp in there i don't know how big it is we just got to cover that strawberry bed it may do it we'll yeah. have to look. all right let's go let's go see what we want to do about these strawberries who's this uh, <laughs> do you love grana yeah yeah i love you too Now, I would not leave this tarp on these strawberries long term. It's just for a day or two. Our strawberries are hardened off. They don't have any blossoms on them or anything right now, so it should be fine to use the tarp. But if I have the opportunity over the next little bit, I'm going to rake up some pine straw and cover them with that instead so that we can take the tarp off. But we did go ahead and put it on for now. And like I said, because they don't have any blossoms or anything, it should be fine. Now you're about to get to hear our story about this random chicken we found. This way? From here? Yeah. Is it? One of my eggs that got away. I don't think that's our chicken. I'm right here, baby. I don't think this is our chicken. I think it's a chicken that got out from somewhere and just found a place to hide. Chick, 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 chick. Maybe get some food. That's where Audrey's going. Can you hold that like that? You be in charge of this. See if Mommy sure. can go catch Stand the right chicken. Here with Look, you hold this. Let's see if we can catch this chicken. You okay? You okay, okay? At first, we thought maybe one of our chickens had just run over here, but. After we got a good look at her, this definitely was not one of our chickens, and we could not catch her no matter how hard we tried. She had already found somewhere safe to go and hide, so we put some food out for her, and we're going to see if we can find who she belongs to. Whoa! Hey, baby! Baby, you can't do that! I love you too, but you can't do that! <laughs> Making do with a flashlight. It's dark. We came out. Well, we hadn't gone back in yet. Um, but trying to encourage them in their house we'll see how it goes we'll shine a light out here in a little while look at them see what they're doing i think that's gonna be all for this one maybe we'll get some snow or some interesting weather that i can show you over the next couple of days i love you i appreciate you i'll see you in the next one bye y'all in we go